Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Welcome back everyone, it is day 61 and we're about to dive straight on into another raid today. Just as a reminder, we are going up from 50 to 100 raid level, which means we'll be adding some blood special attacks to Zebak, as well as a couple extra things to take care of inside the bar bar room. I will point them out as we see them, but other than that, the run is largely the same. Of course, increasing an extra 50 invocation levels is also adding an extra 20% to all our enemies. So they're all going to be 20% tough to hit, hitting us harder and more accurately and have more health as well. So yeah, eventually we're going to hit a point where it's like, oh shit, we're not really dealing much damage and we're getting kind of clapped. And I don't know if that's going to come today or tomorrow, but I'm sure it's going to come eventually. Let's dive in and find out if it's now. <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully things keep going as smoothly as they have been and we just breeze for another level today. Who knows? Alright, we need to pre-pop. So we are going to go ahead and just grab this stuff right here. We'll take a drink of our ranging potion as well. Lovely stuff. Got everything. Let's go. Form a pie. 100. Red level 100. I wonder how the puzzle room is going to go today. Oh no. Oh my gosh, I just did that first try. No way. Is he a god or what? 24. Zoom in. Zoom in. Give us a wave first time. Never lucky. That was a knife though. I'm pretty sure this was a knife. Go check this as well so I know what I'm looking for. Diamond. Okay, well, we got boot star. Beautiful stuff. Smoothest puzzle room you have ever seen. Almost got the combat task there for under a minute with no damage taken. One minute and seven. You know what? I'll take it. Oh my gosh, I've got a stamina in my inventory rather than a fucking manta. Oh no. I didn't put it away when I was pre-potting. I just noticed it there then. Oh no, folks. This is not good. Okay, the hits are noticeably less already. We should still be on a two spec. By the looks of it, I don't think we're going to go third spec in this phase. Yep. Oh wow, we've still got anti-poison from the Ambrosia at the end of yesterday's session. Holy shit. Oh, I forgot we're in Verax today as well. Am I on the right style? Oh no, why are my darts all falling out? Why am I? It's because I've got a melee top, a fucking metal top on. Okay, that was a rough phase, but... That's okay. It's just teething issues in the new gear. Do not want to lose these. Fucking expensive, mate. I'm just going to quickly switch so I can make sure these are tagged. Oh no, I fucked that up. I don't think that's going to work now. I don't think that's going to trap the melee. Which I was hoping for it to. Okay, a little bit of teething issues there. Just figuring out the gear swaps and stuff. I guess obsidian doesn't count as a metal body, so I was getting it away with it before without swapping. To be fair, the rate this is going, we might get another dung anyway, which will mean I can set it up properly after all. Or maybe not. Nope. Okay, so we do a full swap. Right, and the other one's weak to mage. I'm like 99% it's weak to mage, but I don't seem to be hitting. What the fuck? What did I just take a bomb from? Okay, I'm just gonna get this back on, do it this way. Okay, we should be pretty clean from here. Oh my gosh, why did I drop the stamina? 
I just ran out of energy. I could have dropped a normal map. Holy shit. Pay attention. Pay attention. It's definitely the sketchiest Capri so far. I feel like I'm going to regret the loss of that one mana race so much. No, one of my darts disappeared. Well, this is so much slower. I think today is where the struggle starts, y'all. This was a very rough kill. They'd get away with just two manas used, but with only three that we started with today, it's not great. Just leaves us one for Zebak. If we don't make any mistakes in here, then we theoretically shouldn't take damage, other than a little bit of unavoidable from bloods and stuff. The only damage you take in Zebak is to your own mistakes, so just gotta keep it clean. Hopefully we can freeze a croc near us today. If not, I'll just kill it before moving on, just to make sure. Although it didn't freeze. It's okay, we killed it. So we should be able to get a two run before another one spawns in. Perfect. Actually, the first time we've done that room without anything used. Why have my Mystic Might on? Fucking hell, man. Okay, so we'll get rid of this stuff. We want this on for now. This is all fine. Let's brew up. Uh, no, I don't really want to brew up. I will just range pot. I'm going to wait for these nine seconds. I don't think it's going to affect our time that bad if I wait nine seconds. Make sure I get the most out of the range pot. And then we go. How much is the spec on this? 60. Yeah, I don't really want to use 60% just to get a slightly improved basic attack. I'd rather save it for the blowpipe in case I need that little extra bit of healing. Come on, rubies. Do some work. There was the first blood attack coming in there. Pretty sure prayer is no effect against them so okay we're on to our first spec got a nice clean run here and a ruby really would go a long way in this fight another blood attack coming in there it's the other blood attack this time which is kind of bad timing with this to be honest i'm gonna take a hit there which will heal zebak slightly unfortunately but there's not really a lot i can do while i'm trying to dodge these waves this is not ideal okay managed to Okay, the point of danger, I think, has passed there. It was awkward timing. Very awkward timing. I'm actually just going to throw some blowpipe specs in now. Conserving as much prayer as I can by flicking. Alright, next rock fizz. Should be nice and easy. Oh, I missed a prayer there. It should be okay as long as there's no other mistakes. I think I might actually just sip a couple of brew doses. Because I was thinking of repotting anyway. Okay, see, this is fine when there's not a spec going on. Because you just walk away from them. And it's absolutely no problem. Okay, apparently I do get hit by them still, though. Helps if you also don't suck. Sorry, I forgot to say that part. It's awkward. Oh, no. Don't panic, keep calm, the danger's past. Okay, should be smooth sailing. Nice thing about these first two bosses is that the last part is very chill. Same with Barbar, -Bar, really. But not as much with Barbar, there's still annoying things to look out for. These hits are just not that good, even with the dragon darts. Our accuracy just isn't that high at our range level, unfortunately. Finally pass over into the last phase there. Throw a spec in for a little healing, hopefully. Okay, should be okay dodging these. It's just with using the blowpipe, our range is so short. Oh my gosh, he just took a bite on me. Why am I bleeding? I don't know what just happened, but I did not like it. I've never been bit by him before. Maybe it's something to do with the bite. Come on, just a little bit more. Don't make me spend any more brews. Please. Don't get too close. This is not great. That was fucking slow. 
Jesus. <sighs> What's the spirit got to say? I'm tempted by the chaos, I'm not gonna lie. Like, how much do I need liquid adrenaline? I'll regret not having it later for sure, but we've got two salts and some extra food there, and I feel like we've spent a lot on the way this is going. Like, we're slogging through these fights, so we're spending so many resources. Like, I've only got nine brew doses left as it stands to get through Acker and Baboons and Baba, so I think I'm I think I'm gonna have to take that chaos. Not having the liquid adrenaline will suck for Akka, Comfers, and for Wardens, but I think I just need the extra supplies right now. As sad as that is, in fact, I'm gonna keep that stamina dose even. I'm not gonna bank anything. Use it in the next bit when my uh, Renegi gets low. I think with, with an extra six brews and three restores, I feel a lot more comfortable than I would at just having, because like those extra liquid adrenaline are just gonna go to waste. I'm not gonna make good use of them. So, it would have basically just been six brews and a restore for one double dose of liquid adrenaline. Like, that's just not good enough, is it? As good as adrenaline is, it's not worth six brews, three restores. I guess there was an extra salts in there too, but we didn't need the salts either, so. Wait, I thought I'd done it. Oh, I'm an idiot. Nothing new there. Ah, oh, Shadow's gonna get us. Oh, no, he skirted by. What a kind fellow. Alright, I think we're just going into this one, which means we want this one. Alright, that's mirrors down. Gonna get some supplies out of the bag here. Got them, may as well use them, and I'm even gonna brew up above my HP total, because like I say, we've got them, we may as well use them. Don't probably need more of these at the minute though than these. Okay, that should be fine like that. And we want to start on our mage gear. We don't want the crossbow, so I'll just move that out of the way. Nothing new going on in Akka. This should be just the same as previous, but more difficult because of the damage reductions, accuracy reductions, all of that bollocks, which you are seeing in full effect here as I've only just hit him for the first time. Jesus, this is a lot of splashing. I told you it was going to start ramping up. Those extra numbers start to make a difference. And at this point, it is getting tough. I think a 150 is going to be incredibly difficult with this stats and gear. Because usually we've had Akka. We've been like done with shadows before he switches styles. And he's going to switch styles and he's only just gone shadow. See? So it is miles slower. Oh, we haven't sorted. Yeah. Well, <sighs> ignore everything I was just saying. Potentially, I mean, it could still be bad, but it's not as bad as I was making out at least. I just didn't salt, fucking idiot. Yeah, I'm legit gonna pick up every single dragon dart that I see on the floor. Those cunts are pricey. Okay, hopefully we get some hits on mage phase now that we're actually pod. Or solid. Oh, okay, no, never mind. R mage phase is done. I missed it all, killing a shadow. One nice thing, if you're struggling with the memory game, by the way, is it can never go, like, diagonally opposite. It always goes to one next to it, one way or the other. So if it's lightning, it will go to either skull or frost next not fire so you can at least get 50 50 guessing if you don't know it or if you know that you didn't see it go to the other one then you must have by process of elimination you know i don't actually know what our best style is to be using on these guys I should probably figure it out but i uh haven't we're doing okay though now i was really worried at the start of this and then we got our salts it's probably why i'm struggling so much in kath uh kepri and zebak to be honest so here I kind of missed the second one on that, but because I knew it started on fire and then went to shock, I knew it had to be down here. That didn't make sense, what I just said. Ignore that. Am I under? Oh my gosh. I just took hits, man. Fuck me. That was bad. I think we've still got another shadow to go. Yep. There it is. Skull, fire, skull, fire. <clears throat> That's not good. Uh, 
Oh my gosh, I'm dumped. I have fucked up so much in this fight, honestly. Oh my gosh, I forgot I have bloods. What am I doing? Okay, no liquid adrenaline, but we got what we got. Specs used up. Oh my gosh. Holy fuck. I'm glad I got the extra food, because we would have died in there if I didn't. We would have died. So bad. I'm just going to withdraw it all. And we don't quite need to resalt yet, so we won't bother. We do want this on this. Don't care about that. Oh, we're just off a of max it. I wonder if with the fire cape it's enough. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I feel like I'm flapping so hard today. Just fucking specced on a two health. I keep doing that. Dreadful. Yes, give me those heals. Oh no, what are you doing? Okay. I don't know what my character's doing right now, so I am just going to sit here and barrage. Is there another? Nice. Okay, we got through that without spending too much in the end. It was a bit sketchy at times, but we got through it. We got quite a lot of resources left, so we're not in a bad position at all now. The only downside is we are still missing that liquid adrenaline for the first phase of Wardens in particular. Stop fucking around, get in there. Right, so mind the gap, I've got to stay at the sides now at all times. Because if a, a, a boulder phase starts and I'm not at the side, I'm dead. That simple. I've got to stay beneath these walls, basically. So if there's like a boulder spawn in the middle of the room, and there's one at the side of the room, i I got to go for the one at the side. i just got to get myself straight into a safe spot, basically. So that I don't risk accidentally starting a boulder phase and getting knocked into the gap. And that's basically where we're at with this now. So just being super careful here. Should be able to get up that. Perfect. Lovely stuff. And then we just get on this guy. And hit a lot of zeros. Hopefully it shouldn't be too long until the next phase though now. We get to skip a lot of barbar, bar, which is nice. As long as we can one hit those rocks with a ranged weapon, which we can, so. For another spec aim. No, I won't. I'll poke him with my DDS. And there we go. Just gonna have one little sip of the nectar. Just feel a bit better about my life. Oh no, I'm not going to make it. As in, I'm not going to make it to the top, but we'll be fine. Yeah, it just ended. At least I got to my darts in time, that's the main thing. We no longer have to worry about the gap because there's no more boulder phases. We are almost done. And there goes Baba. Okay, let's see what the spirit has to say. Now, if those... If those were adrenaline instead of salts, I would definitely take this. But we don't need more salts. And, yeah, we need more food. There's no way else. Well, I mean, I probably could get for it on this food, but it's not worth the risk just for the salts. I would rather just have all this in my back pocket. And I can bank my brews as well. Because we're not going to have enough space for all our own supplies as well as that stuff. So, we'll chuck those away. The anti-venom as well, we don't need any more. A few moments later. Okay, I don't think I like that. Right, we may well get a four down here. On the second phase of Wardens, because of the sacrifices we've made to the liquid adrenaline. I don't know. We're just gonna have to see. Fingers crossed we can still manage to get it in three, but... I don't see it happening without the adrenaline and with the extra increases that we've added as well. I hope I separated them enough. I think I did. I think we're definitely going to eat both orbs here. It's more a case of whether we 
to hit the next ones or get through them. Just having to brew through those. Making sure to switch to the blowpipe and keep our DPS as much as we can when the things interrupt us, but I think we're gonna get hit by another two orbs here by the looks of things. First one's definitely gonna connect. The big hits aren't coming, that second one's gonna connect too. Well, that is a shame. Okay, phase complete. Gonna need to nectar up a little more here. And then could actually do with just resetting the salts as well so we don't have to worry about it. Swap to long range for now and get on this guy. Oops. Oh my god, I just specced with my fucking Haster. I just wasted one of the only specs I did have. Oh no. Oh no. I was just set. Oh my god, they were definitely on four downs. We're definitely on four downs. Okay, I'm gonna crack both of these because. Oh. <laughs> Can I heal off this guy with bloods? I can. I didn't actually think that worked. Okay, that makes me feel a lot more comfortable, to be fair. Oh no, that was the wrong prayer. Honestly, being able to heal up here is kind of great. I don't know why I thought that didn't work. Maybe I'd tried it previously and it didn't, but it got changed. I don't know. Maybe it was something to do with an invocation I owned previously or whatever. Could be all sorts, couldn't it? About to go down. Took so long we got another spec back. Make up for that one that I fucking threw away. I just hope we're not five phases, that'll be rough. We should be able to get it in four, because we got him to about half there, and he goes down ever so slightly longer each time, from what I remember. But it does also get more intense as you progress more downs with the amount of extra shit that you have to dodge and whatnot, which I am obviously bad at. Oh my gosh. I'm trying not to notice all the dragon darts. Okay, we got him again, and there's another spec. Yeah, we'll definitely get him in four. Gonna try and keep barraging up. Or bursting up even for the extra health here. Oh my gosh, I got tombed! No, 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 I got hit by that thing that I said you don't want to get hit by. Oh no. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Stop panicking. I've been panicking so much today. What's wrong with me? Just chill out, James. You're a fucking beast. You got this, bruh. In fact, crack that scarab because there's another one in the pouch, you may as well. But do pay attention to the attacks that are coming at you a bit more, please. Fuck that, I'm going on Brosia. That felt like a panic moment. Okay, we're in. I want to get my supplies out rapid. No, I drew too much out. Just taking my time here. I actually need to put another thing away. Or eat something. My brain's not working. We don't need that. There we go. Okay. Bit of lost time there, but we should be fine. Doesn't seem like we're going to be getting any rubies today. And there we have one. Actually hit for 100 as well, so it wasn't too late for it. Move that up there. Get that up there as well. Those are the ones we need here. Oh, lovely. Another one. Ask and you shall receive, folks. Should probably resol. I think it just ran out like recently. Now I'm thinking about it. Why did I fucking keep that on? It might be low pipe time as well, actually. On rapid though. Blow pipe's doing bits right now. The hell? Thought I had an extra energy siphon then, but it was fucking Kepri's shadow that, that appeared. <laughs> I thought there was an extra one there, I was like, why is there a fucking shadow there? There's never a shadow there. <laughs> this is going slow though. Okay, we're in the final phase. I got hit. Oh my gosh, that lightning slaps. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh my gosh. Whoo! 52 minutes that time. They are certainly going up. Or 44, depending on whether you count the... I don't know which one the actual time is. I guess it's the one you... One's time you actually spent fighting bosses and once between rooms maybe i don't know jeez that was tough today folks i'm not gonna lie that was tough we managed to get it done though just about i mean the bag is not as stocked as it was yesterday we we went through all our embrosia granted i was clicking them pretty like frequently just because i knew they were there and i wanted to feel safe but yeah we went through a lot of them today and we did end up taking the chaos as well, which did make the run a lot slower overall. So tomorrow, you know, if we go up to 150, it's going to get another 20% worse. And on top of all the other things, I don't know if we're going to have enough time. Tomorrow we might just run out of time. But let's worry about today for now. That is another white light, unfortunately. Not what you want to see. Not what you want to see at all. But it's exactly what we expect. Absolutely terrible loot. Absolute garbage. 2 out of 10. Fuck. 0 out of 10. Alright. I'm kind of curious what the uh, tasks we got done were. Oh, so it's literally 0 or above, 50 or above, 100 or above. Okay. <laughs> cool. So tomorrow, we're going to be adding in jungle japes, which makes banana peel spawn when the baboon dies. You just don't run into them and you're all good. We're gonna add overclocked two, which is gonna make that last phase against the wardens a bit trickier. We're not gonna necessarily be able to use the crossbow as well, but it is what it is. We're gonna add hardcore run, so we haven't died yet, and hopefully that continues to remain the case, but we only have one chance now. To be honest, I feel like if we did die at this stage, it's going to take too much time out of the run that we wouldn't be able to make it up anyway. So this is probably about as free as it gets on top of the soft core run. Like, we're just not going to have time to make use of an extra life. If we die, it's pretty much the end of that run. So this one's going on as well. And we still need 25 points. So I'm also going to put Ancient Haste on which, oh no, that's going to hit me a lot. I don't know if I like that anymore. I think I'm having second thoughts on that. Okay, that's an option. Do we want to get smited though, really? Or Overlords is an option. Uh, Stay Vigilant is one I was going to put on. That means that Akka randomly switches rather than switching at timed intervals. So we will have to pay much closer attention to him, but it should be doable. I could try this, but I've never tried it before. I know most people use it, I've just never used it, and I'm used to doing it the way I'm used to doing it, and I feel like it might screw me up a bit more, plus Capri's already kinda difficult to be honest, it's one of the worst rooms for us at the minute, do we need less supplies, I think it's just gonna have to be that ancient haste, but it is gonna hit me a lot, cause it's gonna make those orbs come quicker, which isn't ideal. Yeah, there's not much else we can really turn on. That's what it's going to be, fucks. Hopefully it doesn't go too bad. Oh, I don't think it's going to go amazing. We'll find out tomorrow, though, of course. Get ourselves geared up. Or re-geared, I should say. I think I do like the Verax, though. The Prayer was a lot more chill to manage today. And in fact, maybe that means we don't need to bring quite as much. Which does open up a spot, maybe. For an extra manta ray. Yeah, I think I like that. I feel good about that. We just need our pre-pots, but to not actually forget to put our other pots back. And that's going to be it, folks. I'm actually going to stop ahead of time because, well, we're done. There's, there's no point trying to do anything else here. It has been a pleasure as always. I'm glad we managed to get that done. I'm not 100% confident on tomorrow's, but it could be the final episode of One Hour Limit Locked if I do get it done. I mean... You can make be your own judge of whether you think I'm going to, based on today's performance. I made a lot of mistakes, and it was close a couple of times. I don't think we're going to get it done tomorrow, but tomorrow might be the epi last episode. I honestly can't tell you. And if it is, well, thanks for being here. It has been a pleasure. I guess we'll get to that when we get to that, though. For now, hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you think I'm going to manage to crack it. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Tell a friend if you think I'm enter...
entertaining and Santa, that doesn't mean message me. Message to me my own video? Come on, dude. Look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.